the truck. We're headed out the Duramax. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we got. Hey. Hi. We got Captain Mark in the back here. Captain Mark. <laughs> and then uh, Walden, which is holding the camera right now. <laughs> so, you've probably seen the thumbnail already, so you know what we're going to go get. I just purchased a 2004 Bluebird diesel school bus. It's actually a transit bus. It's got bigger seats in it, but it's basically a school bus. And it is three hours away. So we're getting on the road right now. We gotta get down, way down South Colorado by nine o'clock. That's the only time the gate is open for us to pick this thing up and try to get it home. But there's a little issue. It doesn't have keys. It doesn't run. And we only have the supplies in the truck, which is like a tool bag like a jug of oil. So we're going to see how this goes today and uh, bring you guys along. Well, found the bus. Made it down here. A uh, little hectic trying to get them to unlock the gates. Guess there was a mix up on their app. Not letting us load up at a certain time, but uh, we did find it. We have a 2004 Bluebird bus with the Cummins 24 valve diesel, and uh, the guys are checking it out. <laughs> uh, I got a pack light. All right. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in this bus still. I found a camera case. You want to search this? This is weird. There's, hold on. There's lotions. There's something in this case. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do uh, some fluid checks and... So the stickers on the back of the bus said this belonged to a Baptist church. Weird. Go dump that out there. I don't know what's in there, but there's something not right in there. Oh. There's what? a dead rattlesnake in there. Oh, weird. Yeah. You should put that on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, so we just found this bag and... There's there. a dead rattlesnake in there? There's a dead rattlesnake in there. Or something. There's some in there. Oh yeah, let's I just open that. Dump it out. Alright. I got a fuel filter from 2017. Yeah. She's been sitting for a while. Alright. Engine oil. Oh well, she got plenty of engine oil. Right at the full mark. Alright. Yeah, it's right at the full mark. Okay. Trans. What's that look like? Is that full? I can't read it. Over. Oh, that's good. Over is better than I don't know. Probably because it has a leak and so they overfilled it. Ooh, I wonder if that's way over. It's like fucking several quarts over. Well, you're supposed to check them running in neutral, so it's usually way over if it's... Yeah, and it probably hasn't ran in a second, so it hasn't really pumped. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know, actually, because it... There's a lot of fresh shit laying around here, so... It doesn't look that bad. Like, mechanically, it doesn't look like they took anything apart. Right up. Let's get the truck hooked up to the battery. Yeah, where's the batteries at? Yeah. And then we'll work on the ignition. We're gonna grab the tools. Grab the drill, my drill's in there. Just drill out the locks. Okay, well, we're gonna jump on that and see if we can get this thing uh, charging. All right, so we've decided that the bus was probably impounded at some point in time by the Colorado State, State Patrol uh, on 9, 14 of 20. So not that long ago, really. Till away. And um, kind of a bummer, belong to a church. So, tires all have air. Looks like all the tires have air, huh, guys? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Is that the only door that opens? Is the one in the back? Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, all these are locked, but there's stuff under here, I bet. So, we do have on the right side. under storage. We've got the truck hooked up. We're charging the battery. It was completely dead, so. Looks like they had to abandon ship. I don't know if it's gonna run or not. Even the, even the overhead lights have been replaced. Really? Yeah, like it's got a lot of work put into it. Yeah, look, it's got nice like carpeted ceilings and stuff. 
Like it's been maintained pretty well. Mobile climate control, so it has more than just the engine air conditioner on it. That's nice. Overhead CD. Yeah, with sound system. It's got a kneeler system on it for the front. So you can bring the front down. Oh, really? Dude, that's wild. Oh, there's like life jackets in here? Like, where does they go into the lake? If I could find a set of keys in here somewhere, that'd be real awesome. Fuses. Found fuses, fuses and bulbs. That's my engine, bro. I need that. I need that. I don't know why I would have quit running. I wonder if it was like the alternator or something and the battery died. That would suck because we'd have to put an alternator on it. But on the other hand, that's really not that big of a deal. Like, why was it on the side of the road? I mean, so many questions. Right there. Is it like right there, there easy to get there. to? Right there. Yeah. So, I mean, right it's like a few little things, but. And then boom, we can just... How we look? <laughs> look Looks clean. Yeah. So far, the fluids tell me everything's fine. Well, that, there's brand new oil filter, brand new oil. It's been maintained. There's brand new lights up there on the top. Yep. Maybe check underneath and see if they like blew a coolant line or something. I see some lines that are pretty low here. Uh, no. No coolant leak. No, I don't see anything fresh. Well, right here. Yeah, dripping a little bit, but it doesn't look like it ran out, maybe. Well, no, it's been sitting for four or five months, so. Leak right here, though. There's a petcock valve right here. If we open that up and fluid comes out, then we should be full. Or there's a radiator. Can we get to the top of the radiator? Engine coolant. Empty. Yep, yeah, there's nothing in there. <laughs> uh, I have some coolant. We're just going to start putting it in there now. Damage report. It's all screwed up. Uh, we left the bus. It didn't go well. Uh, the rear brakes were caged. The fronts were not, so it was locked up because it has air brakes. It was uh, the rear drive shafts out, so even if we did get it running, we wouldn't be able to get it driving. So that was a big pain in the butt. Um, and then the starter was seized up, so we couldn't get it started anyway. And we had a super impatient guy waiting to close the gate behind us. So we thought, all right, we're gonna pull it real hard with the truck and four wheel drive. And that didn't, didn't do anything. Um, she was stuck even with the front brakes, or the rear brakes caged already. The fronts were just holding that thing in place. So uh, plan 2.0. Actually, more, more like Plan 3.0, because I did hire a driver to come pick it up originally, and then they just stopped talking to me, so. I'm going to get on the road. We'll discuss this later. So, good news, bad news. Bad news is, my last two attempts, I was unable to pick up that 2004 Bluebird bus. The old Duramax, uh, you know, she got a lot of power. I well, wasn't towing the bus home with the brakes locked up on it, so I had to call on the big guns. And by the big guns, I mean my wallet. So I paid to have a professional big rig wrecker drive all the way down to Colorado Springs, pick up the bus at the three o'clock time slot that's allowed, and bring her all the way back to our part of Colorado for an incredibly large price tag. The bus, the bus we won for $1,200 off of Copart, which is great, stimulus check, bam, buy a bus, 5.9 Cummins, awesome, $2,200 to move it 300 miles. So folks, I've learned my lesson on this before. When I bought my yacht, it cost me over $3,000 to have it shipped to my business here, and uh, it was a $200 yacht, so still, I still did okay. But if you're buying big stuff, guys, please note that shipping is very expensive if you can't tow it yourself. And even if you think you can tow it, please consider the fact that you might not be able to get it and you're gonna be shelling out big bucks. So with that, guys, I am here waiting at the shop here at Sunset. 
waiting for the bus to show up. It is in transit right now. Should be here in the next 20 minutes or so. So I'm excited to see it. We're gonna check it out as soon as it gets here. And uh, we're gonna start wrenching away this weekend on it. See what's going on. Hopefully we just had electrical issues with uh, those huge batteries being dead and um, we can get them charged and, and hopefully get this thing cranking. Um, worst case scenario, well, worst case scenario, the motor's locked up and we need a new 5.9 Cummins, which is, you know, six grand. Yeah, that's worst case scenario. Best case scenario, we just need to charge the batteries, clean the grounds, terminals, so fire right up. Possibly needs a starter, I don't know. We tried to hotwire it. I need to get an ignition switch. There's lots of stuff going on. All right, we're gonna check this thing out. Uh, should be here in a few minutes. bus fresh from its 300 mile trip let's go unload it dropped off delivered right in the parking spot said the trip went good Well guys, it's a little too dark to film anything tonight. Thanks to the guys over there at uh, TLC Automotive. Thumbs up, good work, showed up on time. Got it delivered on time. Nice guys. You guys are out in uh, the northeast corner of Colorado. Any automotive towing or even automotive and truck repair, those are the guys to go check out and see TLC Automotive. So anyway, Bluebird is here. I'm cold because it snowed last night and this morning, but the bus made it. Well, guys, that's it from me. I'm going to head home, but this is the introduction of our 2004 Bluebird bus, and we're doing a schoolie conversion. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Uh, action. Hey friends, Dustin here, what you're watching. God dang it! <laughs> 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 me, 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 me. <laughs> Alright, I got it. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow?